Hello everyone, this is Shopka and it's been a long time um, but here today I am to share with you this art journal that I created. I used an old book for that and it was a book that I I cut out the spine uh, quite a while ago with all the pages and started creating something on the inside. Uh, I never finished that and didn't work so I left it and now I thought it could be perfect for an art journal. So here you go. And I have collected some ephemera, some vintage papers, some scraps and I am trying to figure out how I uh, want everything to look. So I'm using an art medium by churning to glue everything down. And here I'm starting with the front cover. So as I said, it's been quite a while and that's because a lot of things changed in my life. Um, I moved house uh, in the meantime and it took me a while to get settled, to get everything in order and in place. And um, also it took a while to gather all my crafting supplies and figure out uh, where I would go and have my craft corner. Um, I live in a very small apartment so it's I don't have a lot of space here but now I am ready and I have um, set up a, a, a a little craft space in, in my living room and um, I'm able to find everything again. I've all gathered it around me so um, I was really inspired to do some crafty videos again and I did a couple of videos lately uh, but that was about some of my digital products that I created for my stores at Scraps and Diggy Scrap. Um, but now I'm uh, ready to make some videos again. I'm not promising anything though because um, I'm very busy with my digital work right now. So, um, but hey, we will see. Uh, and I met uh, a friend here in the village that I live and she's also very much into mixed media and crafting and art journaling. So, um, that's a lot of fun. We do a co we do some projects together, and and uh, well, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, crafting and uh, talking about crafting, really. So here I am, starting with the back cover again, gluing down everything with uh, art medium by Schoening. So I I uh, have to say that I already started a new a new journal. Um, I I. I am happy with this one. I'm satisfied with this one, how it turned out. And I for sure will use it for some projects. But um, I had some new ideas already and I started a new journal. So here I am cutting down the axis of all the, the pieces that I glued down. Intentionally, this art journal was... Um, meant to be a mission inspiration art journal. I've been watching a lot of videos lately um, uh, and the ones by Mike Deacon, the mission inspirations videos, I do love them so much. So I thought I would go and participate in those challenges again and I wanted to create a journal to keep all my mission inspiration challenges. So uh, that was the intention of this journal, really. Um, here I am using some gesso to um, bind everything together, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, so it will all be... Um, blended in and I'm starting with building up some colors and I started with this uh, from uh, a very light spray for, uh, by Lindy Stamp Gang uh, 
Café Ola to start with a very uh, light color to get it uh, a bit more vintage. And then I tried this to glaze my project um, and I don't have a glaze medium but I used the art medium for that. Spraying the color, I believe that was the rusty hinge into the, the art medium and then paint all over the project, all over the covers and use a baby wipe after that to wipe it all off again or at least most of it. So you will be left with a, a very light vintage look and this was uh, a bit of a struggle because I wasn't sure what colors to use and I was a bit scared so I wiped off too much really and uh, so I had to do it a couple of times with different colors and here I'm doing the same thing with a spray uh, with the vintage photo I believe it was so mix it, mixing it in with the art medium and paint all over the covers and then again use the baby wipes to wipe it all off and because I'm scared and I don't want to mess everything up uh, I wiped off too much again so here you see me um, um, doing the same thing and this time I'm drying it a bit so um, it will be harder to take off and that worked so there's more left of the of the color on the front and, and back uh, cover but I was too careful and I wiped off too much but I was liking the way it was going uh, it started to look more vintage and the last time last step was to do the same thing but then with the black acrylic paint so this was a scary part to just paint it all black and then use uh, the baby wipe again to get most of it off and you see me doing that here and again um, I'm taking a bit too much off but I was very much pleased with, with uh, where this was going so just adding a little bit more of the of the paint of the glaze really and then in the end I was quite satisfied how it turned out as you can see here it now has a very grungy vintage look that black strip you see on the front cover that was a piece of a spine of an old Bible I believe and uh, I thought it looked nice it's a kind of leather material so uh, now I have dried everything I wanted to bring in some color and I use again a distress spray in a kind of teal color I'm not sure which color it was and I want to have a very subtle bluish uh, a hint of color on the page so I'm spraying the spray on a piece of uh, parchment paper and then use a brush to go over the over the covers but as I was telling you a while ago this was meant to be a mission inspiration art journal because I was very much inspired by the videos of my deacon and all the others that participate in these challenges there is a Facebook group as well and I used to join in and I did a lot of mission inspiration challenges but as I said um, 
things changed and uh, I wasn't inspired for quite a while and uh, well I thought I would start and do them again and there are of course a lot of new mission inspirations that I haven't done yet and also there are uh, mini mission inspirations and these are fun as well here I'm using uh, the neo colors and I used a purple one to uh, bring in some accents I had a couple of pieces left of ephemera that I wanted to use on top of it all. Uh, there is some lace, there is an old photo which was torn in half, there are some tickets, there are um, um, some, uh, there is a little frame and, and a little um, tag, metal tag, and also a metal flower. And that flower. Uh, these are all things that I bought at, at Action, uh, very cheap. And the metal flower had some um, uh, height to it, and it was very easy to, to bend. And because I wanted to uh, add uh, a ribbon or a rope uh, around the journal, I thought that that could be perfect. So here I'm placing everything down and um, deciding where it should go and there should be the flower using a very cheap glue by uh, Crea Patch I bought at Action as well this is a piece of canvas really thick canvas that I glued down and here is a piece of lace still gluing down stuff and in a little while I'm going to use the a gel medium it's a bit heavier glue by Ranger to glue down the the card the photo and that's always a good glue I find to use for for heavier stuff to glue down uh, the metal frame um, it didn't work all that well with the with the glues, so in the end, um, I used the a, uh, a glue gun to glue that down. So and now it's time to oh you see I punched a hole um, for the flower and used a very tiny bread. So um, it was a, a, a bit, um, because it was very fragile, only using glue for that flower. Uh, so I used a little tiny mini bread as well, so it, it, it would stick very well to uh, the cover. Just a little uh, quote, word, just, created. Uh, from the Tim Holtz stickers and this will be the inside of the covers it's it's a, a scrapbook paper that I had and which I cut in half uh, I believe it was from action as well using a glue stick to glue it all down pressing it very well so it will stick and let it dry for quite a while so it uh, was very it, it would hold it would hold now here we go and this is some leather band I bought at action as well and I wanted to use that on my journal and here I'm deciding where to put the holes for uh, the, the book rings that I'm going to use. Um, and here I go and make a major mistake and you see me doing it already and I wasn't aware of it at this time and I'm going on uh, using my crocodile to punch uh, the holes uh, with which was quite hard to do because it was kind of thick, the cover was uh, I had some eyelets as well and here you see me do what I shouldn't have done and you guessed it already 
I think. But I'm still not aware of it and I'm punching holes and also using eyelets to punch them through and they just just got through the thickness of the of the cover and uh, but it was stuck quite well so I thought it wouldn't give any problems and that is the hole that will hold the the, the leather string um, in a while and the other two are for the book rings of course so on the back side I'm punching in the book uh, the, the eyelets really and then still still not at this time but now I'm reali realizing <laughs> what I did wrong and yes I punched the holes from the uh, back cover on the wrong side so I had to think of something to cover that up and I was uh, uh, I managed to put out the, to get out the eyelets and I put a, a piece of lace a, a lace cloth I uh, luckily I had one the same of the same um, that I used on the front cover and I did a pocket on the inside um, uh, so where you can put a tag in or something like that so with a black acrylic paint I um, run down the edges and here I'm using the neo colors again a white one to um, to finish to finish it all up really to do some last minute touches and also using uh, a white spray to add some splatters so this is it really um, I, I want to apologize for my English uh, it's a bit rusty at the moment uh, but I will manage in future videos it uh, just takes some time to get used to again and um, I really enjoyed creating this journal I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it and I'm sure I'm sure I really want to um, create more videos for you so hopefully see you again very soon thank you all for watching and have a great weekend and see you soon bye bye